Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're going to go for a bike ride with our friend Anna, who's here visiting with us from the <laughs> Netherlands. And uh, we're going to show her what it's like a nice bike ride in Toronto. It's a very sunny day. Helmet can be a very useful sun visor in most situations. You don't want to actually use it what it's actually used for. Anna, you don't normally wear a helmet, do you? No, and I don't normally wear sunglasses either. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here at the Ride Toronto Bike Share hub here, you can see the bikes there that you can use. And let's figure out how this works. So I'd we're like. going to download the transit app. All right. Mike, go ahead. All right, here we go. Let's see how easy it is. We're trying to use the Toronto Bike Share program. Just showing up here. No research ahead of time. We thought it should be simple. But perhaps not. We don't know yet. Okay. I want this bike. All right, so we want this bike. Yes, please. One, three. Oh. Yay, green. Green, it goes green. Pull it away. Oh, just Hooray! Oh, got a bike. Yeah. Toronto Bike Share in action. So we just showed up with our phone and knowing absolutely nothing. And we figured it out. It wasn't too exactly, bad. Yeah. A few things were labeled. It was actually is labeled transit and it had the right symbol. So we just had to, the instructions seemed unlikely, but they worked. So we'll give it a thumbs up. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn this on. Gears on it? Because okay. you can see there's a lot of bikes yeah. and cars going in both directions. Yeah. So yeah. cars passing the bikes. Yeah. As soon as a car comes the other way, all of a sudden there's not enough. Yeah. The morning it's kind of crazy if there's people sometimes yeah. walking too. We're on the Martin Goodman Trail, right down by the water. Lovely Sunday. It's a mixed use trail. People running, people walking, people doing rollerblading, people riding bikes. Over there, I think it's just bikes, but this is mixed use here. There's some Canada geese. Lovely to be on the bike path, not biking through the city, although we're gonna do that on the other way back. Our way to the distillery, stopping at Fun Art. We've cool. had a big, uh, some big storms lately with a lot of this happening. That tree went down. It's a bit of a buzz, the kind of a, the bottleneck in the path, isn't it? All those little roots have to come in and go through here. Yeah. Hi. Almost at the point where we actually go on the road. What did you think of that route so far? Um, that was fine. It's you know, you know that there are pedestrians, and in Germany they do that as well. You know, a co combination of uh, pedestrians and cyclists. So that went all right. In Holland, when you have to stop for a traffic light, this is the traffic light, and this is where you stop. But I was looking for it sort of uh, because it's on the other side of the street. That so means you can be closer up, right? Yeah. This is better. They didn't have this before. They've changed it so that the pedestrians and the cyclists are actually on different parts of this through fair because when they first built it, pedestrians and cyclists were walking all together. It was quite challenging and not safe for anybody. So it feels a lot better managed and organized. So yay to the infrastructure for fixing this. I haven't ridden this route for quite some time and I must say it is greatly improved. There were several spots before where it was designed where you had to dismount your bike and uh, they've made all those areas very clear about where the pedestrians belong and where the cyclists belong. And as a result, things are working a lot better down here. Uh, very few pedestrians wandering into the cycle path and vice versa. 
as opposed to the last time where there was tons of potential collisions. So looking good. So we're heading to Parliament, which is close. I have to say the bike ride's been awesome in terms of the bike class. Lots of improvements since I've last used it. So we've got off the cycling infrastructure and it's right off into a highway kind of situation. Lisa doesn't feel safe riding on the road here, so she's going on the sidewalk along with Hannah. Snacks. Always happy to be eating. We're on our way home, but we're going through the city. So we're going to take the all possible awesome bike pass, but it's not always possible to do so. All right. taking Hana biking with the cars but there's no choice if we're gonna get to the bike path so here we are biking with the cars not on a separated bike lane at all so we're at Richmond now on Parliament we'll cross the street and get onto the bike path on that road right there Actually, it wasn't too bad because I do that in Holland as well okay. with cars. Uh, most of the time we've got special cars, but I'm, I guess I used to be used to it. Great. So Not fine. so bad. Awesome. <laughs> between bikes and cars. This is the Richmond Street designated bike lane. It's got some kind of plastic poles that divide it, give it some separation as well as some planters. But we'll see those in a second here. Not a bad bike lane actually. During the week this is very busy but it's a Sunday today so not so busy. Yeah, car is supposed to go there. Yeah. I think it's for cars. It's kind of confusing. The green is usually bikes, though, Lise. Green is for bikes. It's that's right turn for bikes, and this is. Uh... How's it going, Mike? It's going good. That's it's closed, but. Anyways, we're gonna use it anyway. Looks okay to me. Confusing signage is a common thing here. through in the middle. It's a little bit challenging. certainly was photogenic. It most certainly was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a lovely spot here. So this was not a 
pleasant turn. We're going left. Yeah. Following this car. When it, if you weren't major, here, I would go over there. We're going to go on a major street right now and stay on it for a little bit. Yeah. So we'll Are we going to cut through the park or not? Through the park or not through the park? We're at Trinity Bellwoods having to bike on Queen, so it's a little nutty. I think Mike's directing us to go through the park, so it's a little bit off. Yeah, we're gonna go through the park, so we're just off that busy street, Hannah. Has a kind of an English feel. Yeah, yeah, I can see what you You know, the way they hang out in the park. That's why I say we took her on a pretty decent route. Yeah, but that there is a decent route that exists is really awesome. This block I'm turning, go ahead. This block I'm turning on to now is when they recently changed the direction of the street to us to accommodate bikes in both directions. You used to have to go the wrong way down this street, so now they have a contraflow bike lane there. And supposedly a shared lane on this side. And it works out okay, I think. Now we're crossing Dufferin. Always fun. Here we go. Busy street. Almost finished our journey, just heading home to return Hannah's bike. Get a green signal? Yeah, we're done. All right, we're done. Bike has been returned. Well done, indeed. That worked. So, how was the ride back, Hannah? Um, it. I think I was very lucky with uh, us riding on a Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. It wasn't very busy. Uh, if I'd known it was going to be like this, I wouldn't have worn a helmet. But on a weekday, I most certainly would. Uh -huh. well, it was all like you know, I could see my way around, find my way around, and uh, it didn't feel like it was dangerous. No. No. So, I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs>